This is the uh, WatchKeeper remotely piloted air system. Uh, we're currently going through the process to flight. So uh, in the rear of the pin scale, which the aircraft's currently connected to, uh, we have a member of the ground crew um, conducting all the pre-flight checks necessary um, to uh, ensure that all the avionics and the payloads are working correctly before we then take control uh, in the GCS. WatchKeeper's got two um, payloads the first here is a um, synthetic aperture radar and ground moving target indicator radar. What that allows us to do uh, is provide imagery um, in all weathers uh, as well as pick out any movement at great distance before we then uh, utilise our rear payload to understand what, those, um, what that movement is. Um, we also have a, an antenna um, which provides us with an ability to conduct line of sight uh, radio communications with ground troops. If we move towards the rear of the aircraft, We've got the uh, electro, optical and infrared camera uh, that provides the day and night uh, imagery um, both for us inside the GCS as well as uh, ground troops uh, and any, any headquarters which have our uh, imagery sent to them. Uh, inside that payload is also a laser subsystem that contains a laser pointer um, which allows uh, troops with night vision capabilities uh, to see what watchkeeper is um, looking at. It also has a designator and a range finder and those allow us to um, call, for call on fires uh, and uh, allows um, munitions with, which are laser guided to be um, brought onto a target um, from Watchkeeper. At the rear of the aircraft, we've got the engine. Uh, this engine is, is a Wankel engine um, and that provides uh, 14 to 16 hours of endurance um, for the aircraft. Uh, the data links at the front in the rear of the aircraft is, is how the aircraft receives um, the data and the commands from us inside the ground control station uh, up to a range of 150 kilometers.